The 2nd Assault Amphibian Battalion can trace its roots as far back as the 1920s and 30s, where it started as just a lightly funded theory of warfare. However, with a war looming in the Pacific, the Corps ordered prototypes made and Marines trained in the landing vehicle tracked, otherwise known as LVTs. By mid-1942, 2nd Marine Division activated 2nd Amphibian Tractor Battalion at Camp Elliott, California. It was originally a logistical support element for the Solomon Islands campaign, serving as the mechanical workhorse on the front lines of the Follow Me Division. The unique capabilities allowed the Corps to resupply their men with ammo and water where no other vehicle could, and helped evacuate the wounded to safety. Then the push came for Operation Galvanic, the seizure of Tarawa Atoll. The LVTs could traverse unpredictable tidal currents and coral reefs, which would stop boats in traditional landing craft. They negotiated the high coral reefs of Tarawa, unleashing the 1,500 Marines of Regimental Combat Team 2, taking the island in only a few days. Many crewmen even grabbed their rifles and joined the fight with the same men they brought into battle. Island after island, they continued the fight in Saipan, Tinian, and finally, Okinawa. This type of modern amphibious warfighting became vital to the Follow Me Division. After World War II, the battalion was deactivated. However, the nation would need them once more, and in August 1950, the battalion was reactivated at Camp Lejeune. Elements of the battalion deployed to the Mediterranean Sea in 1957 as part of Landing Force 6th Fleet, an ancestor of today's Marine Expeditionary Unit. In the late 60s and 70s, the division was changing its operational capabilities and the battalion was renamed 2nd Assault Amphibian Battalion. Additional funding was created to expand the new AEV fleet. During the early 80s, the AEV supported peacekeeping efforts in Lebanon and upon completion of operations in Beirut, the battalion supported the unit deployment program and 3rd Marine Division with rotations of companies to Okinawa. In the 90s, the battalion and its elements once again made a major commitment to Desert Shield and Storm. Into the later 2000s, the battalion participated in numerous operations in the Middle East, supporting infantry units both logistically and in combat. For the past 75 years, the battalion has deployed its Marines and sailors to nearly every corner of the world, both in conflict and in peacetime. It has faced and met a wide variety of challenges, defining the expanding role of the LVT AAV and becoming a symbol of the adaptability and seaborne nature of the Corps. The battalion carried Marines from ship to shore 75 years ago. It continues this tradition today. The 2nd Assault Amphibian Battalion stands ready to carry the Marines and sailors of the 2nd Marine Division into every climate place, ready for whatever the nation may ask of it in the future.